the thing that strikes me about about Thought's world record was that just before before the meet, the the Australian I don't know if he was the head coach or the performance director, Greg Hodge uh, had come out and, and said that he thought the pool wasn't up to world records and nobody would break any world records and you know the pool was useless and then of course Ian does what <laughs> Ian does and goes out on night one and sets a, a world record that stood for ages. So uh, you know. So be careful what you wish for, I guess, when he's concerned. I think part of that, too, was a little gamesmanship in terms of, like, taking some pressure off a guy like Thorpe because people were always expecting world records, and so I think what he was doing there was kind of... And it makes sense now as a coach, you know, to do something like that, uh, to just pull back on the media expectations a little bit, of, like, like let's just enjoy the performances and what come will come. And so then you do get a guy like Thorpe, you guys goes and does that and you think to yourself wow he must be really special if he can do it in that crappy pool but no it was a very good pool it was a great place to race